Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Atiyullah, atiyya Rasul, ulul amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself and abdukulaji sadaifu, miskinu, zalim, jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah that this way of heavenly realities, this path of light, this way towards the malakut which is the power for the world of form. So why try to grasp power from the form and go the reverse way? So we go towards the world of light and if we can achieve our reality in the world of light that power all encompassing. For if Allah should give us our light that light has dominion over this world of form. And the world of light its way is based on khuluq, character and manners and adab. The world of form based on ibadah and acts of worshipness. And when the people of form come towards this way and, and visit this way, all they can see is the ibadah. Then they say, you, you pray too fast or you go into sujood very slow or not long enough. And the miracle of the association is lost because they look to the world of form and the actions and in those actions seems to be every reward for them. So remember that the majority of associations have no real teachings. So then their association is what? They make salah long time. That the hell, that's all they have. They're going to come and repeat the same teachings over and over and over. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And then they make their salah very long and that's their enjoyment, that's the activity of the evening. The tariqahs have a, an adab and a class to teach, the salah is one portion of that. And they teach the finite mannerisms that in congregation think of those whom are weaker and not able to go too long into sujood, not to pray too long on their feet and they lose their concentration. So at a correct speed in which people can pray, the prayer is finished, there's a zikr, there's a nisa and association to be teaching. There's so many things happening in their evenings. But the grace of Allah teaches the tariqah that everything is based on these manners. That we take a path towards our character to perfect the character. And when the character is good 
Allah can perfect all amal. But if your amal is good and the character is bad, you've rendered the action worthless. That's why you start with character. So you come across a people, they may pray really impressive, they may recite really impressive, but no character, no khuluq. Because we described before that what Allah is granting as an inheritance of khuluqul azeem. What was the nut that had that, that opened that whole discussion? One of our nuts had that about the khuluq of Prophet And our whole way is to inherit from khuluqul azeem when Allah describing. This is a, a, a very beatific Ayah of Qur'an in which Allah describes Prophet they are of a magnificent character. And all the finishing schools are based on that, that this is what Allah loves, this is why He made tariqahs that give them good manners. For with good manners I may accept everything from them. Because with good manners they're trying, with good manners they, they have a sweetness in their character, that's what the shaykhs are supposed to be teaching because we're not zahiri and external people where we focus so much on the form, no khuluq, no classes of manners. So like in your business you teach everybody to be rough or you have somebody very sweet, salespeople, one really rough guy, knows everything and one very sweet person who maybe doesn't know everything but very kind. Who do you send to the customer? The sweet one because you know you're going to keep your customer. The rough one most likely will burn through many customers to make that one transaction and you lose your business after a while if that person keeps talking. Then think for ourselves, if this is dunya, what is Allah want? Aggressive praying people who pray a lot, recite very long but very aggressive and dark in their character and their heart. Because the emphasis is in their actions and the pride enters within their actions and they think that they are great, their actions. As a result Allah can't use that individual because our life is to be of service to Allah So who can be of service? How can we have a khidmat? How can Allah call us into action? Would He send the one whom is harsh? No, shaitan sends those guys, you see them in the park in the UK, it's not sent by Allah Why Allah says in Qur'an, don't speak with a harsh sound lest they come against me because they'll turn back and they'll say something belligerent to you in a bad way about Allah and it was your fault because your mouth was bad, your actions were bad, your aggression was too much. So this is, a, this is the way of shaitan, the way of Rahman, I'm going to send out my beautific ambassadors. Their qirat is not necessary to be perfect. Their amal, you may find many weaknesses in their amal. But the beautific character means Allah's with them because he's not attached to an amal. He's attached to a kind and loving heart. When Allah is saying, I'm with Nabi'een, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin, these are the best of people to be with. Well, we know from all our teaching that Nabi'een, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin are all Ahlihu 
They have hidayat and they have wow from Allah We say this, the huruf that makes you. These are the ingredients in which Allah made you in this way of marifah. If you are a who man, could be man or woman that you represent Allah a da'i to go out and deliver, Allah granted you real ones who they have Allah's hidayat guidance through all their senses but they came through because the who they came through the wow first right you have to go through the wow to get to the ha huh. means then Allah is teaches this is in Surah Al-Kahf of a description of Sayyidina Khidr he attained a rahmah and then we taught him the knowledges. So it means the way of these realities is they have to attain the wow of Allah They have to be Ahlul Wadud and the gate in Turkey for Sayyidina Khidr Masjid al-Kabir in Bursa is a wow, so I'm not making this up. You find it in all our knots, you find it in images and you go traveling you say, oh there's a big sign of wow and they said, this is the gate of Sayyidina Khidr Why? Because Allah describes, he attained the rahmah and then we taught him ilm al -aduni. This is the way. If Allah dressed a servant with rahmah and love and good character, then Allah becomes the teacher through His angels and every spiritual being under Allah's command, under the command of Sayyidina Muhammad will teach that servant because of good manners. So means the subtlety of the way is based on good character. Doesn't mean they don't do their worshipness. Because then you're not good character. If Allah tells you, get up, pray, and you say, I don't pray, I have good character. No, Allah says, you don't have good character because you're disobedient. So this is not an excuse to not do things, but this is an excuse to don't be proud of those actions. Those are not what gets you a reward from Allah But it's the khuluq, that if you took a path of tariqahs, their responsibility is to make you of a beautific character that Prophet look to you and is happy with your character. Not your qirat, not your hours of salah, not any of this worshipness is significant for them. One rakah of a ashiqeen is 10,000 rakahs of a normal person. More than 10,000. What was Laylatul Qadr's description? 30,000 multiplied by one salah. Qadri, the real Qadri means these whom Allah gave them Laylatul Qadr, the rest of their life is Laylatul Qadr. Salamun hiya hatta matal fajr. Every fajr, Allah is sending salam upon their soul. They just been multiplied 30,000 times, a lifetime in every day. One salah, two rakahs times 30,000 of yours. They don't need these actions and amas, they don't need to do those things to impress people. They need to achieve Allah's rahmah. And that's why the shaykhs taught, have good character, be loving, be kind. Through this loving character and kind character and good manners, Allah will call you into service. You're the one He's going to want to dispatch in this matter. Means you, you, you got a call from your majesty's secret service. 
not this ridiculous government, Allah's government that this is your job, your character is what we want. You deliver this, you send this out and this is their whole lives is that Allah call upon them. So our shaykhs taught us if you want Allah to call upon you, make sure it's your character that's supreme and you'll be tested. And that we gave in the first month, in the second month of Ashab al-Kaf our life is that rocks will be coming towards us. Everything in life is like a rock coming to you, rock coming, you try to do good, they don't appreciate your good and they say some bad things about you. And you keep your good character because you didn't do it for them, you did it for Allah and for Sayyidina Muhammad So means that you're tested as a student of a shaykh who talks like this. Any interaction you have anywhere on any platform it has to be based on good manners. Even somebody comes and reprimands you, don't do like that, don't do like this, don't misrepresent the shaykh with bad character and bad manners. You say, thank you very much and upon my head. Not you become psycho like uh, from a movie, immediately you got scratched off their books. That Divine Book scratched. And that's not the purpose of <laughs> tariqah, the purpose was that we get tested in life and Allah khuluqul azeem. This is of a magnificent character. Nobody can achieve what Prophet achieved. But we are working in that direction. This is the example of our King sets for us. The king of all creation that Allah, Zibu, Allah has put upon the throne of might and majesty is the most humble servant of Allah to teach us good character and the tariqah is based on that. And all the obstacles because the good character and the way they make their practices is also like an inheritance from Prophet Means that everything in their zawiyah and every type of action they perform is like the spider web. The cave is not visible to people. How come they went to the cave looking for Prophet They couldn't see him. Do you think that just anybody walks in or turns on or anything is just going to see the reality? No. Allah puts a spider web on everything they do. Why? Because it's a sincere heart coming, then the sincere heart looks and says, this is amazing, what's this, what's that? When the heart is not of a sincere nation, uh, nature, what does it see? It sees the spider web, what's like this, what's like this, what's that, what's this? Means you go, you're not seeing the reality and you definitely don't see the miracle. It doesn't mean Allah gave up, maybe that person comes back another time on their YouTube channel because it's on, it's, it's on social media, it's everywhere. They turn it on, says, Shaykh, I, I listened three years ago, I didn't know what the heck you people were talking about and I tuned off. Things in my life went and I came back, this time I saw it, this time I understood it and this, I, this time it came to my heart. So Allah's rahmah is it's not that you only have one chance in life but you still need some cleaning. You go around your life circle, come back with after a little bit of pounding and smashing and maybe now you're a little bit more sincere, you look to this cave of haqqaiqs and you begin to understand, I see it, I hear it, I feel it and I want to enter into that reality. That's the secret of the tariqah, that's the secret of the way is based on the manners. Based on the manners then we receive these dresses and these realities. These are realities from 
the world of light in which they are from the oceans of Kawthar. Said so that this month, the twelfth month is the secret of Suratul Kawthar. That the nine times twelve and the twelfth hijab is the cycle of completion. And the kawthar is what? In a taynakal kawthar. It's a fountain of abundance that is within the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah. From Muhammad, these fountains are flowing into this reality. From Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem are four streams and four rivers that flow that make this reality and the pond of Muhammadun Rasulullah's kawthar. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem is Sayyidina Muhammad. The all encompassing is the hamd of Allah and these 19 letters of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem is Muhammad, Ali, Fatima, Hassan, Hussain. The Prophet is Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. And what flows from these four streams of the heart of Muhammadun Rasulullah Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman or Ali. And these are the great servants of the fountain of this reality. And that Allah gave to them Ayn. When we described that Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq's name is Abdullah. Out of respect, called himself Abi Bakr. But the real name is Abdullah. Omar, Uthman, Ali. So when Allah from predestiny going to make the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah from that ancient time I'm going to take from these lights of yours which are the oceans of all reality and separate them to four and these are going to be like fountain springs of realities. And Allah dresses their name by its haqqaiq. Because that fountain has to be from Al Alim, Allah's ancient knowledges. So each name has a description of the immense realities. So we describe today for the gentlemen who are here to have lunch. <laughs> Sorry if you didn't come for it was nice hamburger hajj cream. <laughs> Imam Ali is not someone that we make up, you like, oh, this one likes more, this one… No, Allah from an ancient reality that when I create your light Muhammadun Rasulullah I'm making these lights and these souls and making who their realities are and I give them my ancient ayn. Not only they have my eyes and my reality because I know also is vision but Al Alim which is from the ancient oceans of divinely knowledges it's source the kawthar, the fountain that has no end, has no beginning, has a no understanding of limit, grants Imam Ali salam, a lamb. Why? Because this knowledge you have 
it's going to flow through this lisan. Your ancient tongue will put out all of these yaqeens and certainties. Because the ya at the end is the source of all knowledges flowing because every huruf is in the ya, go back to when we write ya for the yaqeen. Every knowledge is in that, the entire huruf and alphabet is within that ya. From the ancient knowledges of Ain, Allah sends the power to this holy tongue and every uloom is flowing from it. Its source of power Muhammadun Rasulullah says so is the center nucleus and these are like four great, what do you call them, attached to this nucleus. And then Allah describes in Surah Al-Maryam, we granted you lisan al-Sadiq al-Ali, the great truthful tongue most high. So means the holy companions inheriting these realities, ancient realities, ancient knowledges, ancient dresses, ancient blessings, ancient powers. How are you going to reach them? By the khuluq and the character. They teach these realities, not so everybody becomes kooky and thinks they attain that reality because now everybody thinks they have the sword of Imam Ali and, and saying kooky things. But they teach these realities that these are the realities emanating from the heart of the shaykh and drink from his kawthar, take from his realities because they're flowing as a kawthar. These are not written down, they're not written in any book, I don't even think the books understand these realities. But this is Allah's gift to their soul and they represent this kawthar ocean. And they invite you to drink from this kawthar. Means come be a student of the way, only criteria is your good manners. With good manners you sit, you write, you comprehend, you take, you bathe in the knowledge, drink from the knowledge, be the knowledge because it should change you, it should correct you and take away the faults of bad character. And then these fountains are flowing. So this Zulhaj, its emphasis were on the holy companions. They wanted their realities to be known through this association. They wanted us to know that we talked about Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq that I'll be the asa and support for you with your good character, be truthful and truthful to your love to Sayyidina Muhammad Sayyidina Umar al-Faru come and teach the secret of the siwak and that your tongue and your actions to be truthful and your fight against the inner oppression to be real, fight your devils. Don't succumb to them, don't be friends with them, don't partner with them, fight your devil inside. Only by that time of fighting that devil are we entitled now to the knowledges of Sayyidina Uthman that comes and teaches that I represent these lights of Qur'an from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad I will put them together in your heart. As I put together the Mus'af of Prophet this is his job to take these realities within your heart and begin to compile them in the correct form, in the correct manner. And with all of its coding to encode within the heart of the servant. And in that time they take a life of carrying their pen 
and they understood their pen and knowledge is more powerful than anything else, especially against shaitans. As soon as these shaykhs talk, they're burning and attacking all shaitans because shaitans cast the darkness on society. Their actions, their teachings bring a, a zulm a, which means actually darkness. Right? So people become hopeless, they mark themselves, they just, they're in a darkness. But what happens when knowledge comes out? Real knowledge is from the heaven, they're like lights and lightning, like fires of lasers coming out that they don't go away. When this fire comes out of their heart and from their tongue, what happens? It immediately illuminates into everybody's heart that heard it and all of their books that wrote it and begins to glow a Divinely fire. And we described before, every time they talk it's like a huge cannon going after all these shaitans and casting what? Muhammadan light upon this earth and it goes out, hits the hearts of those people, illuminates their soul. We just don't have eyes to see it. Illuminates their book, their homes, whatever medium it's coming on. And that's why it's so feared by the devil. They want zulumat and zulum and darkness to engulf the world. But what happens when Allah says, when the truth comes, falsehood perishes and the falsehood has nothing to stand on. So it means they come and they support us with these knowledges. And then the hand of Imam Ali comes in the completion of this process, not at the beginning of this process. Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq has to sign off for you, purchase you from shaitan. If you're not purchased from shaitan he will never leave you alone. And we've seen for 35 years we're doing this, we've seen people come, shaitan grabs them and they're gone again. They come, shaitan grabs them, they're gone. Until Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq is dispatched from Prophet that this one is sincere, pay the ransom to shaitan and take him towards Rahman. At that time Allah labeled them to be sincere and shaitan doesn't see them. If you leave that veil of protection Shaitan sees you and all your family and your free game like a turkey running across the road, they're coming after you. This is an immense ni'mat, immense blessing and this can only be achieved by good manners. Not long prayers, not long du'as. Not all these external actions, those you do at home when nobody's watching. You want to make munajat by yourself on your sujood, go for half hour crying to Allah when nobody sees you because you feel Divinely Presence right in your, in, the, in your face on the ground, not in front of people. We pray that Allah give us an understanding of good character. And the dangerous world of madness that opening upon this earth. We say crazy people because they are crazy, there's not a soft word for it. <clears throat> if you lend yourself to any type of madness and you give to yourself that you can't control yourself, you need medication. Because if you give yourself to shaitan, that was the talk we gave about Sayyidina Umar Farooq, don't let the devil play with you. Don't let the devil play with your character and your badness. You have to be sincere even if you're handicapped in your mental ability, physical ability, no problem, get help. Get medicine, make yourself straight. With that ability now you're truly fighting this devil. 
who said before even in physical illness, you can't say, I'm not going to take medicine, it will affect your ibadah, it affect your worshipness and you find that you can't even worship anymore. Take your medicines, this is the handicap that Allah gave to you, you must figure a way on how to use it so that to keep yourself to be of service to Allah But when the testing comes out and you fail, you have to immediately repent and regain Allah's favour. Ya Rabbi, I want to be on a path of truthfulness, I want to be on a path of good, good actions and good deeds and that a man is a man, a female's female and they don't imitate things on the internet to trap people, engage people and they don't make comments on other people's pages, they don't go out and try to terrorize people on the internet. When we ask people to make comments, it's make comments on our posts. The shaykh makes a post, you make a comment, a preferably pleasant positive comment otherwise you get blocked. For what? For the algorithm of the shaykh to go up. Don't make comments on other people's profiles until they block you and they find you to be agitating and aggravating. Because this is all the testing of good character and good manners. How they were testing good character, if you watched all these shows on these movies they're making of zawiyas, the shaykh would send you into the city with the sheep or with, with something to test your good character. Or you'd work out onto the farm and see how your manners were after you work and your interaction with your brotherhood, means everything is the same. Means that the zawiya now is virtual, wherever they are on the internet the interaction with the brotherhood has to be positive, has to be with good manners, good character, never pushing people, agitating people, never policing other people that, uh, oh brother use the shaykh's photo, oh brother do like this. No, keep to yourself, build yourself, build your own practices. And the whole of this reward is based on good character. Now this month is coming towards an end and the holy month of Muharram opening by Tuesday, Wednesday inshaAllah. Allah grant for us an immense opening that when the holy month of Muharram comes that you read the adab on how to greet the month. That you shower for the arrival of that month, you step with your right foot into the new year and that asking Allah that, Ya Rabbi that the year is opening, let this to be a good year for me, blessed year for me, safe year for me, healthy year for me, my family, my children, my community, my loved ones. And you step with your right foot entering into Muharram and whatever difficulties coming Ya Rabbi for the sake of our love for Sayyidina Muhammad To be safe, to be safe, Yansurkullahu Nasran Aziza Ya Rabbi, that Allah's mighty support to reach to us, to our families and our community. And in their shortcomings and in their wrongdoings, Allah grant forgiveness for the sake of our love for Sayyidina Muhammad and to be a blessed Muharram and to take the lights of Ashura and that to take all our faults and badness away, Ya Rabbi and grant us the lights and to be ready for the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi and that our families to be ready for the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi and to be supporters of Sayyidina Mahdi with our life, with our entire being inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. InshaAllah. We're going to recite the bayat, inshaAllah. 
asking to our bayat to be with Sayyidina Mahdi salam, with Imam Ali salam, all Ahl al-Bayt salam, Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq, Sayyidina Umar, Uthman or Ali under Sultan al-Awliya my Shaykh Abd al-Rafaiz al-Daghestani, Sadr Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Haqqani, Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad Adil under the barakah of Mawlana Shaykh Asham Kabani, Shaykh Adnan Kabani and all Mashaykh al-Kiram. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan al-Radeem, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Raheem, Inna al-Ladheena yubayyunaka yubayyun Allah. Yad Allahi fawqaydihim, Faman naqudhu fa inama yaqusu ala nafsi, Waman awfa bima ahad, Walayhi Allah fa sayyatun ajran azeem. Raditha billahi rabban wa islami deenan wa Sayyidina Muhammad Rasulun wa Nabiyun wa bi Qur'ani kitabun ya Rabbi wa mahmana gulu wakil. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen qabilna bi Sayyidina Sultanina Uliyama Shaykh Abdul Faiz Daqistani Sultanina Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Haqqani Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad Adil Allah na shaykh al-Sham Kabani, shaykh Adil Kabani, sahaba wa Sayyid Muhammad al-Mahdi alayhi salam, Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Sayyifullah Sayyidina alayhi salam, thumma Sayyidina Abbaqa Siddiq, Sayyidina Umar, Sayyidina Uthman, Imam al-Hasan alayhi salam, Imam al-Husayn alayhi salam, Sayyidatina Fatima tisa alayhi salam, wa sa'ira wa sa'adatina wa siddiqina al-Fatiha. Allahu, Allahu, Allahu Haq Allahu, Allahu, Allahu Haq Allahu, Allahu, Allahu Haq Haqqu Ya Rabbi Ya Allah illa shayf al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alayhi wa sahbihi kiram wa la mashayikhina fi tariqatan ashbandiyyat al-aliyya khasatan ruhi man tariqa ghabd khalika Shan Naqshban Muhammad Waisi al-Bukhari, Sultan Awliya Shaykh Abd al-Faiz al-Daghestani, Sultan Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Ad al-Hakkani, Mawlana Shaykh Asham Kabani, Shaykh Adnan Kabani, Shaykh Muhammad Ad al-Mawd al-Khalik al-Khushtawani, Sahib Zaman Sayyid Muhammad al-Mahdi alayhi salam, Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Sayyifullah Sayyidina alayhi salam, Thumma Sayyidina Bakr Sadiq, Sayyidina Umar, Sayyidina Uthman, Imam al-Hasan alayhi salam, Imam al-Husayn alayhi salam, Sayyidatina Fatima Tiza alayhi salam wa sa'ira wa sa'adatina wa siddiqina al-Fatiha. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.